name is Anthony Mosley. Born and raised in Cambridge. Uh, born in Cambridge City Hospital before it became Cambridge Hospital uh, on December 5th, 1972. He's Ben Fresh, that's B-E-N, Fresh, 1972.com. I came up with that sweatshirt uh, because uh, I'm from Cambridge. I left Cambridge back in 92. I moved to New York City. And the one thing that I noticed is how the, New the city of New York takes a lot of pride in being from New York. You know, and, and not just being from New York, but being from the different boroughs of New York. I used to say to myself, man, I, I, how come Cambridge doesn't have something to call its own? I mean, initially when you tell someone you're from Cambridge, they'll say, what is that? And you say Massachusetts, but the minute you say, oh, Boston, then everyone can relate to where it is. So I figured that uh, it was time that I create something so I can let people know that, you know, Cambridge is a city that stands on its own. I've always been fashion forward since I was a kid. Growing up in West Cambridge, uh, I moved all over the city. I lived on Western Avenue. I lived in Cochran Park in West Cambridge. Shout out to West Cambridge. Uh, <laughs> uh, I lived in Newtown Court, uh, you know, which is considered- From east to west. Listen, I was all over the city. North Cambridge, my entire family lived in the city. So, I mean, I've always been fashion forward and I understand that if I'm gonna wear something, it has to be something that I would wear, you know? I'm not gonna just create something just to put it on. And it took me a while because what a lot of people don't know is that I was a partner in a clothing company already. And so I was more so on the marketing side of it. So getting the sweatshirt out there and to the public was the easiest part of my job because if it's one thing that I do know, it's marketing and sales. So when I first made the sweatshirt, it looked a little, you know, looked a little corny at first. But just a kid from Cambridge, I initially was just, I just want something just to simply say, I'm from Cambridge. At first, my first design was, I'm from Cambridge. <laughs> and I was like, eh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> and then what came to my mind is just through the years of growing up in Cambridge, you know, people would say stuff like, you know, I'm just, I'm just a kid from East Cambridge, you know, just trying to make my way, you know, different, you know, little sayings like, I'm just a kid from, you know, the coast in Cambridge. So I said, how about Just a Kid from Cambridge? So when I made the first Just a Kid from Cambridge shirt, it wasn't all that great, but it was what was said on the shirt that caught people's attention. And that's when I knew I was onto something. But I have the t-shirt that says, enjoy Cambridge. I have another shirt that says, um, born and raised in Cambridge. I have like a bunch of different shirts and when people see it, they're like, oh, that's, that's pretty unique. I have one that says Canterbridge and people ask me, where is that? And I'm like, that's Cambridge. <laughs> I just remember growing up in Cambridge in the 70s and in the 80s and sitting in a classroom and you look to your left and there are kids from Pakistan. And then you look to your right, there are kids from Japan. Like I went to school with kids from all over the world. So the one thing I always remember about Cambridge is that it's just like a giant melting pot of so many different cultures. Cambridge is considered like a rest haven for people because it's a, it's a lot less drama to live in Cambridge than it is to live yes. in other places. But we got to spin that around. There was a time that living in Cambridge was easy. Now it's not so easy for the people who grew up in Cambridge. So the thing is, is that a lot of people want to stay in Cambridge and they want to come to Cambridge. And I hear that they say, oh, Cambridge, we're trying to build Cambridge back up and we want families to come to Cambridge. But not every family has millions of dollars to purchase a home. Mm -hmm. You know, I know there's Cambridges all over the world and all mm -hmm. over the United States as well. But uh, Jay-Z's cousin, Emery, sent me a message on Instagram and said, hey, can I get one of those Just a Kid from Cambridge hoodies? And I'm saying to myself, why is he asking me for one? Because... For those who don't know my background, I came up in the music industry and one of the first people that I met and had the opportunity to bear witness to the album being put together was Jay-Z. So I've known Jay-Z since the early 90s, actually probably the late 80s. I met him in 89. But um, so when his cousin asked me that, I'm like, well, why is he asked? Then I put two and two together. I had totally forgotten. He's from Cambridge, Maryland. And so I said, 
Of course I'll send you the sweatshirt. How did all these people in the know get one? Because like I how did they find them? I went to a basketball game. I had my sweatshirt. Actually, it was a t-shirt first. It started as a t-shirt. So I had the t-shirt on and one of my friends saw me with it on and he says, Oh, I like that shirt. Where did you get that? And I said, I made them. I said, I got a couple more in my car. He's like, well, let me get one. I was like, all right. So we go to the car. I hand him the shirt. He hands me $20. And I'm nice. like, hold on. I, was, I had every intention of giving him the sweatshirt. And he hands me back this money. And I said, hold on. And then he tells me, oh, there's a basketball game going on. You should grab the box and come over there with it. How long ago was that? Two and a half years ago. When utilized properly, the internet is an excellent tool to use. Yes. So what I said to myself is, everyone that I, and here's how it started. People I was started to sell the sweatshirts to would take a picture in their sweatshirt, post it on Facebook or Instagram and tag me on it and say, hey, thanks for the sweatshirt. I said, bingo, that's my marketing tool. I don't need to go hire someone to wear the sweatshirt and walk around with it. No, my customers are my models. Yeah. You said there's sort of like this mystique of where do you get it from? You know, like a lot of people don't know where to get it from. I've sat next to people who have the sweatshirt on and told them, hey, you got it. That's a nice sweatshirt. Hey, thank you. They don't even know I'm the person who makes them. And, and the thing is, is I don't care if no one ever knows that I'm the person who makes them. My goal is to make sure that the product gets to the consumer so that we can represent where we're from, like someone from Queens, like someone from Los Angeles, like someone from Chicago, you know, so we can all embrace this and represent ourselves. Boston has an excellent small business program. They will help you get a building or get into a space they will have you in a situation where you being in that space will be funded and financed for a short period of time because it's just so you can establish your business in the community. And Cambridge really doesn't have that. What the thing is, is that the mystique is, is okay, but when you have a product that is moving and can move at such a higher rate, which not only, once, the, once it starts moving at a higher rate, that creates more opportunity for kids of Cambridge. Mm -hmm. My goal with Just a Kid from Cambridge is not just to sell sweatshirts. It's to show kids that you can be from Cambridge and you can accomplish and be whatever it is that you want to be. Mm -hmm. But also to help those kids that want to be an entrepreneur, want to learn about business. My goal is to partner with the high school and create a, a program where students can come into the store and help run the store and learn about business. There's no reason why I should be at a point with this company and the city not be on board with me. My heart is really invested in this. And my thing is, is just a kid from Cambridge is just the vehicle that I needed to be able to give back. All right, listen, Anthony, you're awesome in every way. No, oh, you're awesome. I just happened to stumble across your awesomeness. <laughs> <laughs> Good. My stance on it is I'm not a kid from Cambridge, therefore I'm not going to wear one, even though I friggin' love it. I've learned that even people who aren't from Cambridge want to wear them. I want to wear them, but I... It, it, you can wear it. It messes with my sense of integrity. I'm like, I want it to be for the just the, 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 the actual people from Cambridge. Like, How long have you lived in Cambridge? Since 86. You're from Cambridge now. You're from Cambridge now.